Today we are going to be shaping these nails a little bit more round. So I'm going to explain how I do this. So some of them, they don't need shortening. So this one doesn't need shortening. So what I do is I just get the file underneath the side. Same thing with this, but I still hold the file pretty straight. I don't really go underneath like this. Same thing here, we don't need any shortening, so I'm gonna start here. So I always imagine a straight line running down the nail and then I just file up to that line and then I go from the other side and then I try to match mirror the other side. And then I go back and sometimes obviously they need correcting. Sometimes when just few nails are shorter, I just leave the shorter to be shorter and then the other ones I leave a little bit longer. Nails that are naturally more curved this way, that have more pronounced C-curve, usually look better rounder. Nails that are flat look a little bit better, more square, I find. Okay. Same thing here, not much to shorten, so I'm going to place the file here. Again, imagining that line and I don't look at the, the white part because that can uh, very easily mislead you so I just look at the edge of the file someone was saying that they shape their nails before they take the polish off which is a great idea so if you have issues with shaping your nails sometimes leaving the polish on is a good idea and now I compare looks good this one I'm going to shorten and now I'm going to start from here. So basically it's the same thing as, as filing the scoville nails are more square. It's just I do more work here rounding the nail. It's in a previous video I was showing the squarish kind of soft square shape. And natural nails are not very even usually. So you can see here, if you divide this nail, this is going higher than this side. And there is no way obviously of correcting that. So it's okay as long as this side really matches. So here and here, when you look at the nail from here, it matches side to side. Now I compare. This one I'm going to shorten. Filing back and forth is not bad for the nail. Now I'm going to... What I was showing in the previous video and someone was... I didn't, I didn't explain it correctly. Is I don't push the nail here as I'm filing. So I'm not filing from here. I'm filing a little bit, I place the file underneath and I go from underneath a little bit. Okay, so just grabbing the, the nail from here. Not really filing from underneath too much, but just starting that movement from underneath. So this nail had a bit of a damage, so we're gonna do the best we can here. And I usually file this one a little bit shorter, so it doesn't break. Let's go 
kartu? Stabia, mes kartu? Pastabė. Jau? Nu, po kitų mes kartu. O kartu? So now you can see that this one is much more oval here. So I'm going to start again with the right side. It's good to develop like kind of a, a technique where you always follow the same steps. A lot of people are saying that to file, to shape oval nails, you need to file from underneath, but I don't do that. Like I always keep the file pretty much like this. Everybody has their own technique when it comes to shaping, so I'm just showing mine. I don't think there is one correct way. Everybody develops their own style and technique. best way to learn how to shape the nails is to watch someone who's good at shaping. Someone once said that in order to learn something really, really well, to train your eye and your hand will follow. And this was a, such a great saying because it's true. This is how I learned. I didn't learn any tricks or anything. I just sat and I watched people shape and shape their nails and shape clients' nails. And that's how I learned shadowing. Now we can check. You can always check from this angle to see if everything matches. And the other side. To finish the shaping, sometimes you can do like this very smooth movement. That way there is no like sharp edges. And they're done. Oh.